When we replace an old car, we don't expect to ever see it again. But Justin Gick has the fascinating story of a Bismarck man who sold his car and managed to track it down and get it back years later. Backing out of a garage in Bismarck is a 1968 Plymouth GTX with owner Harold Zimmerman behind the wheel. Harold is the original owner of this vehicle and it was the first and only car he ever bought brand new. It was purchased in 1968 in Hazen, North Dakota at uh, uh, the West End shop. He was 16 at the time and he says the car dealer didn't take him seriously about ordering a brand new car. He had it for a little over a year and in the meantime married Sheila, the love of his life. They had plans to move from Bismarck, so the car had to be sold. The plan was uh, to quit our jobs here and go to uh, Tucson, Arizona. Harold sold it to a friend, so he knew where it was for a while, but after the friend sold it again, he lost track of it for many years. In July of 2000, he began to think about the car again and wanted to see if he could track it down and get it back. It began with a VIN number search at NDDOT, where he found some information, and then he decided to do a personal nationwide search. It turned up in Montana as the last record. However, uh, when I contacted them, uh, he had sold it, so that information was not of any value, and uh, then I had to expand it to other uh, states. Perhaps the most interesting part of this story is that Harold found the car at a classic car shop in California. When he purchased the vehicle and looked at the title, he found out that it was owned previously by movie star David Arquette, who is famous for his roles in the movies The Scream. He was also married to friend star Courtney Cox at the time. Well, David Arquette is probably better known uh, with a younger crowd. Uh, I had to look up to see who he was actually. When he finally had the car back, there were some things that needed to be fixed, such as the suspension and later a full restoration, adding back the original black stripe down the side. With the keys back in his hands, there are just two words that sum up Harold's feelings. Total excitement. As for the future of this Plymouth, well, it will stay in the family where more memories can be created. It is going to be passed on down to my daughter if she uh, continues to have a desire to acquire it. But for now, Harold will continue to enjoy his favorite car. In Bismarck, I'm Justin Geck, reporting for your news leader. Since getting the car back, Harold has been able to enter his Plymouth in several car shows.